Hi, I'm Lauren Van Duzer from Happy Hands and Beyond Dog Training. I am going to show you today how to do the Leave It Cue. So the Leave It Cue is most useful for when you don't want your dog to put their mouth on something. So let's say either they're stealing your shoes or they're pulling on clothing, um, even out on walks, uh, getting into mushrooms or sticks, acorns. Uh, or even worse, things like chicken bones. So this is one of the foundation cues that is most important. We teach it usually in the first couple of sessions to make sure that the dogs don't get themselves into trouble. We always wanna set the dog up for success by creating baby steps, and I will show you how to do that. So the main goal that we're looking for in the Leave It cue is the dog makes the choice to move away. So I'm going to start out with a fistful of treats and I'm going to let him mess around with it. What I want is for him to choose to pull his head away. So some dogs will lick and paw and chew on your hand um, and you just stick through it. You do not move this hand. We're going to put it out and leave it there. Um, if it gets too intense with the chewing, you can just flip your hand away and try again. Let's go ahead and start. So what he did there was he was sniffing it and then he decided to pull his head away and he made eye contact. That's when he got the reward. Yes, good boy. So I'm using a marker word, Y-E-S. Uh, that is to pinpoint the moment that he did the correct thing and it also means you're going to get something afterwards, so food reward. So anytime you use the marker word, you're going to give him a treat also. You can use a clicker in place of the yes word. So he is a little more advanced than this, so I'm gonna go ahead and start pairing the word. Um, but once you see your dog moving their head away the way that he is, you're gonna start saying the word as soon as you put your hand out. Leave it. Yes. So you see he, he thought about that but he made the choice to not touch it because I, I paired the word with my hand coming towards him. So let's try it again, watch how he does it. Leave it, yes, good boy. Now, a lot of times they'll start to pick up on uh, that a treat comes from the other hand. So what we're gonna do is switch hands. Leave it, yes, good boy, good, good boy. Very good, I know. That's a good game, isn't it? You wanna play again? You <laughs> ready? You ready to show him how to do it? Leave it? Yes. Good boy. Good. Now the treat reward that comes afterwards always comes from the opposite hand. So you don't tell him to leave what's in your hand and then give it to him right afterwards. So something else that you can do to make sure that it's really the they're really getting the point across is say leave it with one hand and take it with the other one. So I'll demonstrate that next. Leave it. Yes. Take it. Good boy. Good boy. Very nice. All right. We're gonna progress this, and what we're gonna do next is pinch it in our fingers. So we're gonna pinch it like this. It's going to look like I'm handing it to him, but I'm going to say leave it cue. Leave it. Yes. Take it. Good boy. So we're just making it a little more complex, and this is the way that we can start to integrate it into more realistic and daily life things. Switch your hands again. Leave it. Yes. Take it. Good boy. Good boy. Very good. So our next step, once he's doing that 90% uh, of the time, and sometimes that you can fly through these steps in a couple of sessions, and sometimes it takes days to weeks. It just depends on your dog's skill level and your training skill level. So our next step is to put it on the floor and put like a little spider hand over it. Leave it. Yes, take it. So I'm still waiting for that eye contact. In the very beginning stage, we don't wait for it, but he's at the point uh, where he can handle it. So now I'm gonna pick it up so he doesn't have a chance to get it. I'm gonna put it back down on the ground, leave it. Yes, take it. Good boy. 
Good boy. Leave it. Leave it. Yes, take it. Good boy. So you can see uh, I tested him a little bit by moving my hand away. So that's how you should progress through uh, these steps. And you can get it a little bit further away to make it easier for them. So if I were to put it uh, more out here, it would be easier for me to take my hand away. Um, but he is right at this step where we're progressing through. The next step would be to start tossing treats on the ground and rewarding him from the other hand on the other side. Uh, but then always picking them up before they can get to them. So we'll progress up to real life objects. I'm going to use one of his toys. He has not practiced this before, so this is a, a real life view of what it will be like. So I'm going to only expose a tiny amount of it, so I'm not going to dangle it in front of him or throw it when I say leave it. Because we have to train him that the word leave it means just don't touch it. So I also will not reward him with this toy. What I'll do is still give him a food reward. Eventually we'll fade off of those food rewards and use other things as rewards. Leave it. Yes, good boy. Take it. Good boy. Good boy. Leave it. Yes, take it. Good boy. I'm going to switch hands. So I'm going to get just a tiny bit harder. Leave it. Yes, take it. Good boy. Leave it. Yes, take it. Good boy. Good boy. All done. Good boy. Very good. You did that. Oh, yes, you did that. Do you want it now? You can go play. You can go play. Good boy. All right, so those are the steps to using the leave -a in real life and the beginning steps that get you there. So if you have any questions, feel free to message me or call me directly. Again, my name is Lauren Van Duzer from Happy Hounds and Beyond. Have a great day.